All right, top of the top. It's the Vision Podcast. I go by the name of Rock Zo. I'm an artist, engineer. I'm going to pass it on to the next Vision team member, Calvin. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Cal. I'm a producer, mixer, um, pretty much all that. So, yeah. Frank. Hey, this is uh, Frank the Third, rapper and uh, writer. Ross. Young Ross, producer and artist. JB. JB Roy, artist, singer, songwriter, all that. That's so. Uh, Teo. DJ Teo. The official DJ for the video. Hey, you, you, you motherfucking alive, nigga? Hey, all the viewers. Hey, we do. We don't see by you. Hey, like he's literally up all night. Like he just got. <laughs> uh, I was <laughs> on some BS too. So <laughs> you good, bro? Sure you did good? I want to be a, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Right. I'm good. <laughs> D Black, let them know who you be. It's D Black. Uh, just drop some. Fox 12's in the back. And I'm just an artist, man. Just an artist. I love you, Yeah. All right. So today we're going to talk about a few topics. First topic we're going to talk about is this Breonna Taylor verdict. I want to know your opinions on that. Man. Man. Mm. Me and Calvin were just talking about it. Uh, Pretty much, bro. I, I just don't agree with this shit, bro. It just kind of tells me like where we at as a as a country, bro. Like Man. how they, you know, what I'm saying like how they feel about us, dog. That's exactly what it is. How they feel about us. Yeah. So I guess I'm just gonna have to be controversial on this one, dog. Yeah. Here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I think there's a lot of information that just has not been put out about this case. Yeah. And, and like, I think it's mad unfortunate that, that she died. But um, I think when you, when you were involved in certain activities, I mean, certain things, certain things come your way, man. You know what I mean? And so, I, I mean, there's a, there's a leak document, I guess like, like one of the police officers, like, they like leaked one of the, like the investigation. And I mean, they had like investigations on, I guess her prior, her prior boyfriend or whatever. What's her name? Uh, his name, Jay Glover or something. Yeah. And like they, they were watching this dude for like years, pretty much. All right, but this is, this is my thing though. If I don't Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and basically, and basically, what what had happened? This dude was moving reckless, using her her address or whatever as as his address, and basically he left a pa a paper trail. We can get deeper into it if y'all want to, but basically he left a paper trail. They was following this dude going to going to her house or whatever, and she just got wrapped up in the shit. You know what I mean? That's really what it is. I mean, we can get deeper in it if y'all want to, but I think it's mad unfortunate. I just think that it's it's been blown up a little bit more than it probably should have. So, yeah. All right, where I disagree is that, um, all right, they was watching him for a minute, right? If you're going to do a no-knock warrant, you don't think you're going to do enough investigation to figure out if he's actually there or not? Well, but here the thing, like in that transcript, I mean, in that document, they got transcripts of uh, the dude, uh, Kenneth Walker, the dude that her boyfriend or whatever that was there and shot at the police. On there, he talking to somebody, he talking to somebody uh, on the phone and they like, yeah, the, he was like, they was beating on the door and um, Brianna Taylor was like, who is it? But she said that they didn't say nothing. But how you got a no knock warrant and dude said that he was beat, they was beating on the door. So I mean, it's just a whole so lot of weird shit about yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, like a dude, some, that's a dude from himself, himself saying to some other dude on the phone in jail 
They was beating on yeah, the door. Yeah, but that beating on the door could have been them trying to knock the door down. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I mean, who knows? Bro? Like, with, you know what I mean? They When they come with come with that knock-knock, you feel me? They come, boom, boom. That's that's what that being on the door was. So to him, he's probably thinking, it's intruders, you feel me? Like, he probably why would, and, he, and then he, he's right in that sense. He's right in that sense. And they're yeah. wrong in the sense because they didn't even, the right guy wasn't even there. The right guy was not even there. You have a no knock warrant, and you're not even sure or not if the person that you have a no knock warrant is even there. That's bad police work to begin with. Now you're yeah. shooting up the crib because somebody's defending their household, and you don't know if there's kids in there or not. You're just shooting up all crazy, and the only right. thing the cop get charged with is shooting at the neighbor's house. That's crazy. Right. Now, on on that on that degree, I do agree with that. I do agree with that. But at the same time, man, this bro, you bring shit your way, bro. You gotta watch the people that that you that you mess around with. That's just what it is. That's true. I, I, and to an extent, I agree with you on that, Cal. You know what I'm saying? It's consequences when you bring people around and these people got baggage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. With, what I agree with Zoe when he said yeah. it should have been way more harsh consequences for every officer that let off a bullet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every officer I, that did anything. Right. I agree. I agree. But I don't, ain't I don't taking, necessarily... taking away a life. Taking away a life just because of what somebody doing around you, that ain't shit. And you don't kill all me because my accountability, whoever was the person who made the order for them to go do that no knock warrant without the knowledge if the actual person was there or not, they should be held accountability too. Why yeah. they not held that for? They are, they sending people with AR fifteen to a house they don't even know if the person's there that they need. That's crazy. Yeah. My my thing is I my thing about the no knock thing. Is that I don't I don't like by reading this I don't I w I'm not sure that they actually had a no knock warrant. Uh -huh. I think that's really the thing about it. I mean, them them doors ain't that strong, bro. <laughs> I could beat I could knock this fucking door right here. I could <laughs> I could just I could kick any any doors. I live in an apartment pretty much similar to what they had. Yeah, any of them doors they can get kicked in no problem, bro. They, I'm not sure that they actually had a no knock warrant, and if they really did, she probably, if they actually had a no knock warrant, she probably would still be alive, bro. Cause you don't have time to do nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't got, you don't have time to like even go get a gun, bro. That's why, that's why I don't, I don't. I, something's just weird about this whole thing, bro. The whole story is weird to me. Yeah, if she had a no knock warrant, bro, you not have, you don't have time to go get a gun, bro. Like. That don't make sense. Uh, I feel like at the end of the day, if we stand back and just look at the basic facts, is that somebody lost their life due to the fact that police went over there and, and went, went up after the wrong people. The person that they needed was not even there and somebody lost their life because of it. And that's crazy. Yeah. And then they're, they're not getting charged for it. And had it been any other way around, if it was somebody who wasn't police officers or something like that, they would have been charged instantly. They're Everybody sure. who was involved in the crime, who even knew about the crime, would get charged. And that's what yeah. the whole fight is about. It's about police officers over and over killing people and not being held accountable. Look at that 13-year-old kid who just got shot up by the, by the, by the cop. He's just yeah. on an administrative leave. He, yeah. He's just on an administrative leave. His mom called them, told them that he has autism. He's scared of the cops because his dad was shot at by the cops. So when he sees a badge, he automatically runs. He gets scared. They went and approached a 13-year-old boy and shot at him 11 times. Man, bro. Nobody's being charged for it yet. That's crazy. And it happens you, over man. and over and over again. And right. this is what the fight is about. <laughs> it, it, it's bigger hey. than everything else. It's just that they have to be held accountable. I feel you, hey, on that. I just don't. I just don't think it applies to this case. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. If hey. the dude was there... I would agree with you, but because he wasn't there, I, 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 they, they have way too much technology. They have way too much money that they put into these investigations to not know that correct information if the person is there or not. So uh, I can't yeah, agree I you on that. But if they, he was they, there, I could agree with you, but he wasn't there. They they fucked here, up. All but here the thing, they like, the, I feel you on that, but they hit up all this spot. Like I, I, I ain't even really getting deep into that. If y'all want to read that transcript or, read, or that that investigation, y'all can, because this shit way deeper than what I'm saying. But they, right, they so maybe we'll look further into it, and then yeah, on yeah, the next podcast or so further on, yeah, we'll talk about it. But yeah, uh, I think to move on to the next topic. Cool. All right, for sure. Um, so did you? Did any of you guys hear Tory Lanez album? 
I heard it. That shit's nice. I heard bro. snippets of that shit. I ain't hear that shit. I heard, hey, nah. I heard like the first. I heard like the first five songs, bro. That shit. That shit is hard, bro. That shit is hard for real. Great artist. But yeah, Tar <laughs> Tar Lanes is automatically a good artist. Either way, yeah. though, you know what I'm saying. You can't deny yeah. what he can't take the challenge away. So did but you hear that he's claiming that he didn't do it? Yes, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's why. That's why everybody needs to listen to it, bro. Cause. Hey, cause I was kind of skeptical about the whole thing, bro. Like, like, come on, she got shot in the foot and shit, bro. And then like, we ain't seen no pictures, nigga. Then a, a WAP video comes out after that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was no evidence of any of us seeing proof that she was shot in the feet, bro. Nah, but they came out with some hospital records though. That the hospital say she was shot in the foot. And I think the WAP video was shot before that incident happened. Yeah, probably. It probably I was thinking that too. It probably was shot before, but. Still, bro, I don't, I don't believe that shit, bro. I don't see why he would come out and say that he didn't do it though, if he actually did it, because I'll like be really dumb on his part, for real. Yeah. Like you just making your situation worse to do it and to come out and say you didn't do it. Like, yeah. what's the point? Of it? That, that, that like, situation is bad. I believe she was shot in her feet, but I don't know if Tori did. You did. Well, he's saying she wasn't even shot. He said there ain't no like. He and, and one of the songs he like how you get shot in your feet, but you ain't got no bone. It's no uh, damage to your bones or tendons and shit like that. Well, right, unless on, they bro. can fossil, unless they can falsify hospital records, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the only way I can see what you're saying, right? You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they falsified the hospital records, you know what I'm saying? JB, it's, but my thing is, bro, it's so much corruption in this world, bro. I'm yeah, that's what, you, you know that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And you know what's crazy though? Um, yeah, the the complex did a review on it. And they was pretty much bashing him throughout the whole review, saying that his album was trash. It was like not even worth mentioning or listening to. And I was looking at the comments and everybody was like, this is a biased article. Everybody was saying the album was fire. Regardless of what he did, the yeah, album that's was fire. That's what He's everybody talented, was saying. And I'm like, damn, that's crazy that it, the media really works like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get into a situation, they will really try to do everything that they could to they stop you from shining they the try to, They try to do the Chris Brown. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like, bro, like, the, the album is hard as shit, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, the first, just even the way it starts, like, the shit starts out good, bro. Right, BDs. And then, uh, he was just saying, like, uh, like, the, he was talking about one song, how the Illuminati coming after him and shit like that, bro. It was hella shit, bro. Like, I just, I don't believe that he shot her in her foot, bro. I never have, and I gotta have some 100% proof to believe that shit, bro. Oh, he on that Illuminati talk? Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. But, that, but, that but think about it, bro, shit. like, think about it like this, too. Like, the nigga turned down an offer from M MTV to do that fucking, uh, the shit he was doing on Instagram, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you turn the shit like that down, bro, they can control you if, if you go, if you go and, like, you feel me? Like, join MTV, all that shit, bro. They can control you, bro. And they probably mad as fuck about that, dog. Oh. <laughs> they thought they had a friend. That's true. <laughs> well, which leads to our next topic with Kanye West, because Kanye West is now trying to fight these same people, you know what I mean? The label owners and everything like that. And he actually did a boss move and went ahead and gave back all his label the, the artists on his label he gave them back their masters that he owned which was 50 percent of their masters so it was like people like designer you know um what's his name um sean yeah big sean you feel me yeah like people like that you feel me they got their masters back so what y'all think about that that's big that's that's for sure good powerful do you guys think that other artists that has that same power is going to follow the same steps or you think they're going to still continue with owning people's masters and making money I off believe it? So. I believe so. Like, other labels got to follow what he's doing because there's a lot of, uh, you know, indie labels now that are owned by other artists. So I feel like, I mean, I just feel like it's compensating at the end of the day what he's doing, like, like for the artists. And, I mean... I feel like other labels are gonna follow what he did somehow, some way. For sure. I think more like artists are gonna get smarter on on the contracts that they sign. On the business, sure. yeah. 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 On the business end. If it ain't making sense, they ain't gonna do it. Yeah, yeah because you see a lot of artists like 
You know what I mean? Even major artists that just all have the same stories. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We signed a 360 deal. We was like, I was surprised to find out Nas was stuck in the whole entire situation where he owed the label like four albums. You know what I'm saying? And at that Damn. point, it gets to the point to where you don't even, you're not going to make the same type of music you enjoy making. You know what I mean? And right. I realized that. And then a lot of people, when like, when when fans be like, oh, you know, he's not as hard as he used to be and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? Now I understand. It could be they mm -hmm. stuck in a messed up contract. Yo, yeah, I, I, I agree sense. with that, bro. I agree with that because people like, bro. I done heard a couple people just like put out some bullshit, and then I find <laughs> out that they need like two more albums to get out their deal, bro. And I'm just mm -hmm. like, it's probably just a right. bunch of throwaway songs. Like, shit, we yeah. got a bunch of throwaway songs too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but see, that yeah. can hurt your shit though. You feel me? It depends on who you are, bro. If you somebody yeah, like you know, who you are, because I done seen it. it. I done seen it happen. Yeah. You better come with a bounce back, because if you yeah. as long as you keep that platform and your music is good, you'll be all right. But if, if, yeah, you, if your good. bounce back ain't that good, then you need right. to your bounce back ass. Yeah. Because Drake threw out a bullshit album. He did. He he got all his bullshit out. Ain't he out there deal now? That one, what's that one? That Tootsie Slide album song. That shit sucked, bro. That whole album was whack. But one thing about Drake, he just can't lose. He can't lose, bro. He can't lose. So it's like he can put out some bullshit and people still gonna fuck with it. And get away like, with it. I like some songs. Get away with it. I thought we were some songs. What yeah, all, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is make something catchy and it's going. Yeah. What you say? All he gotta what do is it? make something catchy and it's going. Hey, Pete. Pete quarantine, TikTok dance. I thought it was smart what he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't I, don't think it was that, I don't think it was that smart when people did was doing it before him. All he got is just a bigger platform. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. it. You, yeah, that's but he know he knew though. It. He was like, if I do this, everybody gonna do this. Let me everybody do this. Did it. Slide. <laughs> two weeks straight. Simple everybody ass dance. Yeah, everybody. Hell did. No, I wasn't doing no two weeks slide. Simple ass dance. Neither yeah, was I, but I saw these people doing it. <laughs> I'm too <so good. laughs> I at least knew how to do it though, nigga. Yeah, he did it before too with the with the lights on the lights. I'm too big to do the tussie, nigga. <laughs> Must be out here tussie slide. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm way too big for that shit. Yeah, but yeah, that's the smart. That was smart. That was smart, my bro. Hell yeah, bro. Like Mar said last week, bro. We need to look into that TikTok shit more, bro. He he just taking advantage of the platforms is. That's mm. that's popping. You feel me? Uh, it's a sure. smart move. Yo, so Cali's talking about they're gonna ban the um production of of gas powered vehicles. They're not gonna allow the making of them anymore by twenty thirty five. You guys feel like it's gonna hurt our economy? So you talking about like it's gonna be just like Tesla, the whole bunch of Tesla? Yes. Yeah, so so yeah. like Tesla's anything electrical. You can't have, you can't make no new thing, new vehicle that needs gas to power. Yeah, they're not, they're I mean, not getting it fully, right? They're just like saying, like the, the make of the vehicles and the like, creating them is going to be over with. Am I right? Yeah, yeah for that's me, right. The, the air quality or the, that shit is terrible out there. <laughs> yeah. You could use this still, you could still use them and you could sell them as used cars and stuff. Uh -huh. But other than that, you can't make any new ones. They're trying to get rid of it. Hey, I think it's going to be pretty good because California kind of always leads stuff in, like, uh, environmental change and everything. Like, they're yeah. always, like, they're always in the front to do stuff like that. So I think it's pretty big, especially, you know, it's very populated, too, like, in the whole city. Too many so, people, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I think it's going to be very, very beneficial down the road that that's happening. And, like, I don't know, like, I think the, the car dealerships, like, they're and the, all the people that make cars, they're going to adapt to a point where they they have to, like, make just power vehicles. Like, I like yeah. your power vehicles. Shit, low key. This, <laughs> this is a good time for uh, shit, another black business to start up, bro. Somebody to start their own shit, like, like yeah. fucking, uh, Elon Musk. Do y'all think it's going to hurt the economy, though? It'll probably hurt California as far yeah. as economy-wise. 
I mean, because they're already kind of doing stuff with uh, energy or whatever, like trying to go like almost fully like Green. solar or something like that, right? Yeah, they're trying to do Okay. So I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how sustainable that is, you know, for for the economy. You know what I mean? To, to I mean, to eventually kind of transition into it makes sense, but you know, if they go full speed on it, I think that will end up hurting them. So, so the production stops, but I mean, if you got all those cars still at this car lot and stuff like that, I mean, they still could sell. Cause that that was that was the thing yeah. I was thinking about. Like, are they gonna still sell them? But obviously, yeah, if they, they still got that inventory. You know, you got to. So, mm. but yeah. mm -hmm. they're fifteen years to prepare. I think that's a good yeah. thing. Fifteen years yeah. to prepare for all that. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess for like 2065, if you have a gas car, it's pretty much going to be the new Houthi. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro, it's damn near just making shit better for Elon Musk, bro. Like, it's making him, like, even more of a mogul, bro. Yeah. And a monopoly, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. just don't nobody else make gas, electric cars like that? I mean, I don't even know what other company does besides Tesla. I'm sure it's one out there, but... Tesla is like the big name one that I know. I feel like all the other companies gonna have to start investing money in that department now since they already realized that California is already taking that step. Because once California do it, it's only a matter of time to other states do it. And then, you know, big companies like Ford and, uh, and Honda and all those other, you know what I mean? They gonna want some money too. Yeah. And they, yeah. yeah, they gonna. Yeah. Everybody gonna convert over to electric, bro. All the big companies, like you said. Yep. Niggas not gonna even be hearing cars no more. It's just gonna be just, just air, just, just drive. You can't even hear a nigga pull up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like that's good and bad because they ain't gonna get to the point where you know, like they can hey, just shut up your car. A, did y'all see China got a flying car and they got jetpacks? Nah. Nah. Jetpack, <laughs> they got like the jetpack from GTA San Andreas. I don't know what type of jetpack it is, but they got a nigga flying, bro. The nigga, nigga's legs is dangling. That's a jetpack. I don't know what it is. I believe it. I've seen a jetpack, but I ain't never seen no flying car before. That's yeah, good. bro. Look it up. They, they got a flying car. They built the robot, too. They built a robot that look like Voltron, dude. I've seen that. I've seen the robot. Uh, see what that jetpack looks like. I was in like. Japan. That was dope. Hell yeah. I'm just saying some motherfucker. There's been some reports out that pilots have seen some dude, I guess it was in California. On like, a jet pack. Yeah, you heard about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Like, That's crazy. Like, crazy. Them pilots must have been high, bro. <laughs> Shit, that motherfucker must have talked about something they weren't supposed to be talking about. That's what it was. Yeah, probably. Probably really what it was. Shit. You know? Crazy. I on the more serious topic. I don't know if y'all been seeing around or not, but they've been seeing a lot of pedophiles lately outside, locally, just stalking kids and stuff like that. People been taking pictures of them when they've been seeing these these issues happening. What y'all think about it? Oh, Gee, beat a motherfucker up. Hey, I'm, I'm willing to die and go to jail behind mine. Period. Absolutely, bro. That's it. Is sure. good. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't even want to touch on that topic, like, bro, because that's it. That's just death to me. Like, amazing, all I hear is that guy. Man, I just seen uh, Joe Montana had to. Uh, there was an intruder in uh, Joe Montana's house. I think like last night or something, uh, trying to get like his grandchild or something like that. And they had to like what? Fight. Yeah, bro. Niggas are still trying to steal somebody's kid. Somebody they been doing that shit, but you see how they're trying to make that shit become a norm now. That's Bro, what I'm I don't thinking. get it it's though. It's crazy that it's happening more it. often now. Ever since like they niggas been ain't stealing money no more. Niggas ain't stealing gold. Niggas ain't stealing weed. Y'all stealing children. It's be black, bro. You got to think about it, bro. Like it's a lot of shit that we don't know about, bro. And like, like that child trafficking shit. It's so serious. It's, it's very serious, bro. It's a lot of money in that, dog. It's a lot of money in it. That's that's more than somebody. I mean, like, I feel like the way it is, like, you're going to make a lot more off of that shit than you is out here trapping, bro. Like, because it's, it's it's powerful people that's, that are invested in that shit, bro. Yeah. Is it, is it like they coming out with the list? They came out with the list of, what's that dude's name? Uh, 
Uh, it's Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, yeah, they came out with the list of who was taking flights to his island and shit. They yeah. might expose their list. That All these celebrities and shit. They're trying oh, yeah, to see these that. motherfuckers in that shit. Yeah, right, yeah. there is some big names on there, too. There's some huge yeah. names. Big names. But, yeah. Bill Clinton was on there. Bill Clinton. Will Prince Smith. England. Yeah. Will Smith, all them. Yeah. Like, it was like Mel Gibson, stuff like that. It's yeah. crazy. How much people have been That's on his crazy. island, too? Because he had a list. He had a list of, like, all the uh, people that have been on his little island. It's a too. flight log. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, there's a flight log, too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, that, 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 shit, that shit gets so deep. They have yeah, Bill Clinton flying in there 26 times. 26 oh, yeah, times. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That nigga is that crazy. Right now. Like, you can't tell me they if you've been there that many times, you didn't know. Like, that's so. Yeah. Honestly, bro, cool, that's 26 I feel like, times. I feel like <laughs> he's not even dead. <laughs> you said who? I feel like Jeffrey Epstein is not even dead, bro. Honestly. I don't think might, so either. He might, he might not be. Sure. Yeah, hey, think about this, bro. Zo, think about it, bro. Think about how many powerful people we just talked about flew to his island, bro. And then mm -hmm. think about the possibility of him escaping from that cell. First of all, how does the camera, how's there somebody watching him 24 7? That person, for some reason, like goes away for a second and the camera is broken. Like the surveillance camera. Come on, bro. I don't believe he yeah. did. He was in the most secure. He, El Chapo was in that fucking prison. Stop playing with yeah. me. That's the same yeah. one. Yeah, same El Chapo. Chapo. El Chapo in New York, was in yeah. prison. Damn, bro. It's a highly secure prison. On top yeah. of that, they already said that he tried to commit suicide the week before. So why I didn't have him on suicide watch? Exactly. 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 Any facility, any any correctional facility will officially put you on suicide watch, doc. Bro. He's this not is a here. You can't have, so can have blankets in your fucking room. <clears throat> bro, he's no not blankets, dead, bro. no pillowcases, no nothing. He's not dead, bro. I don't believe it either because on top of that, he he wrote um he wrote a will three days before. He he turned over all his assets, his offshore accounts, and all this other weird stuff. So none of the <laughs> victims get anything, not a penny. So he's dead. The victims pretty much is just like whatever. We can't do anything about it because he's supposedly dead. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's so much to it, and so much you probably will never know. That's a crazy part to me. Yeah. Then, but you gotta think, bro. Like power, power is gonna protect power, bro. Because mm -hmm. if, yeah. if he if he exposes everything he knows about everybody, then bro, shit is gonna start looking good for us. You know what I'm saying? Cause those yeah. those are the powers those are the powers that be. Well, that just came from shit, look, shit will look real good for us, bro. And people will start saying like, just because you think these people are our presidents and all that shit, that they ain't fucked up too. No, mm -hmm. these, these people fucked up, bro. They the worst. They the yeah. worst. Worst one. Yeah. But honestly, that, that just goes to show you, dog. Power just consists of money, dog. If you got money, you got power. That's all it is, bro. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no money, dog. Shit, your voice unheard. Yeah. Right. Now, um, there's an, there's another topic I wanted to talk about is with the social media. Bro, why are you just falling? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the social media. So what they're trying to do is they're pretty much regulating and monitoring everybody's posts. They're doing fact checks on what they feel like is important. I mean, it's what's actual factual information or besides what they think is not, it's just somebody's opinion pretty much. So if you post something that you feel like is accurate, but then they pretty much don't feel like it's accurate, they're gonna fact check you. And I mean, I Oh, y'all like seen that shit. I ain't gonna lie, they did that on one of my posts, bro. Like a while ago. Like, what does it mean? I know she real. About. It's like it's like you get a notification like before you click on a post like this post uh, is not approved or something like it could be somebody no. like Joe Biden or some shit like that. You talking about like that like those and like no, hey, you... basically I had posted like uh, a couple weeks ago about the monkey wrench dude. Uh, Snoop Dogg had a post on his page about the dude with the monkey wrench, and I reposted it on my page, bro. And they sent it back oh, yeah. to me. And they said this wasn't a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like they sent something back, like what Zoe talking about. I swear, 
So basically, like, if if the shade room come and post some shit and we repost it and it's not factual, is you talk about shit like that? Yeah, they gonna, they gonna send it to you. Okay. That's what they started doing, but now they're getting more in, in depth as far as like what they're monitoring because they're going from doing fact check to opinion checking too. Because I had posted something, I remember I was on State Street and then I seen like a whole bunch of cars. There was like um just they had police live matter, American flags, all types of stuff. And I had wrote a post about it. I was like I was like, look at them out here, just, you know what I mean, with Police Lives Matter and Trump, this, this, and that. And I was like, lame-ass niggas. That's what I wrote. <laughs> Facebook sent me, Facebook sent me a the post said, your post will only be viewable to you because it might be offensive to the community. That's crazy, bro. That's and I so just... niggas can't even speak their mind? It's, it's getting to that point, and that's why I want people no, to realize. No freedom of speech. Like, yeah. Like that's 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 All that's, those my opinion. that's what I want to say. Like, why y'all checking me for that? Like, let them feel how they feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, they made they're, all they're... these rules to go back on them, man. Bro, I just, I just seen like uh, I just seen like, cause you know like all the same type of people follow each other. So me and one of my boys, who's an ex police officer, we kind of got into a little something on Facebook, and that's why I was just like, man, I ain't fucking with this Facebook shit no more like that. But uh. Like, it's funny how they say, uh, it was like talking about certain lives matter. So there was a picture, like, it said lives matter. You shouldn't have to put a color in front of it. But that same person I seen a while ago put a post that says blue lives matter. So come on, like, you contradicting yourself right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right. this some, I don't know, bro. That's a lot. That's some bullshit out here, bro. Yeah. And when that 13 year old boy, when he had got shot, I had posted a, um, an article of his mom crying and everything like that. Two hours later, the content was unavailable. That's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. Because people are getting too much there. But you, you, but just think about think about social media like this, bro. Like <clears throat> you learn a lot of shit from social media, and not all of it is true, and some of it is, bro. And I feel like the shit that is that they don't want us to know, they gotta stop it now, bro. Because because social media can be a good tool depending on how you use it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So you can use it to actually educate people. And they don't like, it's, it's a lot of shit people, the powers that be don't want us to know, bro. Uh -huh. And I feel like, I feel like it should be up to us to find out whether or not the information is accurate or not. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you, should, you, should stop, <laughs> you should stop what I'm saying just because the information is accurate. Because there's a whole lot of inaccurate shit on fucking Instagram and Facebook that you, these motherfuckers ain't stopping, but y'all want to stop some shit that we we feel opinionated to. That's bullshit. And, and JB, bro, just think about the news, bro. Like, how many times? News, news be news, yeah. You know what I'm bro. saying? Like, yeah. Straight, straight false. Yeah, I don't like that. Because even if it's like one way, or even if it's both ways, like people should be able to voice their own opinions, you know? Yeah. Like, no, matter, no matter what. And... As far as like the BLM and like, you know, people always trying to twist that Black Lives Matter narrative. Like mm -hmm. even with conversations I have with other people, I feel like people forget the initial message, like message it was intended for, you know? And yeah. That's, yeah. What, that's what gets me upset. Like really at the end of the day, it's for like for police brutality and like to stop the killings of, you know, innocent black people. And yeah. people twist that and go in like so many different branches of it. Exactly. And, and that, but people know what that's what we mean. They just want to twist it, bro. Yeah, they, they want to twist it. Yeah, because no, they want to feel bro. a part of something. They want to yeah, feel a part. It's like we, we know, bro. <laughs> people, people just people people get offended, bro. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When yeah. people speak up, people get offended, and they don't have all the facts, so they don't even they don't even know 100 percent why the fuck they offended, bro. But it's yeah. just like. If somebody black starts saying something, somebody white gonna feel like they gotta get offended before even looking into it 100%, bro. Right. Vice mm -hmm. versa, you know what I'm saying? Vice yeah. versa. It's not just white, it's not just white people, it's black people too, Mexicans, Chinese, everybody, bro. Yeah. I just feel like we in the era of people playing the victim so much. Everybody wanna be the victim. Don't right. nobody wanna look at what's the problem is. Everybody, I just wanna be the victim. Fuck it, y'all fucking with me, so I'm the victim now. Nah, bro, and, it ain't. And, and, and nobody can listen. Nobody can shut up. Nobody can listen. Up. Yeah. And when people look at like Black Lives Matter and get they get automatically get mad because they 
feel like, oh, okay, so our lives don't matter, like just black people, like that's just straight oh, ignorance. Exactly. You know what I mean? They just want to feel the part. They know we not saying that, bro. Exactly, and I seen a I seen a post that explained it the best way. It was like it was a house that was on fire, and then it was like. And then it was a house that was on fire, and then the neighbor was watering their house instead of the neighbor's house that was on fire. And then it said, this is what it means when you guys say all lives matter. Mm. Like, pretty much like you're trying to protect your house from the fire getting to it. You know what I'm saying? When my house is on fire, you're doing nothing to help me. That's what you're doing by saying all lives matter. Man, hey, when 9-11 came, it. it was people were saying all buildings matter. Exactly. And that's the most accurate one, too. Like, man, that was pretty accurate. That was accurate. I was like, man. yeah, exactly. It's the same ideology behind that, in my opinion. Mm. Not to knock, you know, the 9 11, you know, it's definitely a tragedy, but, but sure. like, you know, there's a lot of tragedies, especially with, you know, with police killings. So, Hell yeah. Same thing. That happen more often. That happen yeah, exactly. way more often. It's way more often. And, and 9 11 was self inflicted. That's what yeah, I heard. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's damn near a whole other topic, people. That's how you <laughs> I was about to say what you mean, but I don't want to keep it going like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we might have to hey, uh, say that brief, one. I'll give you a I'll give you a brief understanding, bro. There's no way them buildings been up for a hundred years and all of a sudden two little planes, fire jets, knock them down, bro. No, it don't work like that. And brother. I'll give you another fact. I'll give you another fact. This this guy named Larry Silverstein. He, he bought the oh, World yep, Trace, yep. He bought the World Trade Center <laughs> six weeks and double before this incident happened and doubled the insurance. Mm -hmm. He got four point three billion dollars when it went down. Wow. Crazy, bro. I, I crazy. believe I'm it too. To look I into that. Yeah, yeah, and then one more now. one one more, just one more. When you build, build when you bring a building down, right, you have to you have to test it for weeks to know its weak structure points. These niggas brought down the the a World Trade Center building, couple hours after it got hit, they 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 blew up a World Trade Center building because it supposedly was gonna get affected by the other two towers that got hit. When when Charlie Sheen he hired people outside of the U S to come and 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 um like engineers and stuff like that. That's why I feel like he lost his show, Two and a Half Men. He hired engineers from outside the U.S. to come and give their personal opinions. They said there is no way that those people didn't have the bombs already set in that building to blow it up because it takes weeks for you to be able to do a controlled demolition. So you're hey. saying that the third building that fell down, you're saying that yeah, one was they had up? they had the bombs already in there. Even a Firefighters, Even in, in the, yeah. the firefighters who ran into the World Trade Center, they said they mm -hmm. heard bombs exploding in a basement, bro, while they was running up to save people. Damn. They heard hey, an explosion in the basement, bro. Okay. Hey, like, this conversation... Bro, it's a big going, plot, bro. It's a big plot, hey, bro. You know what you know just hit me, though, bro? Like, uh, like Charlie Sheen, that's, like, around the same time when they was trying to claim that he was crazy and shit, too, bro. Exactly. That's what they do. The media comes, and, and they come against you when you start fighting real shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They do it to every celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Every yeah. celebrity. He lost his show. Talking about he was crazy. That was Charlie Sheen. He was always on drugs. Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> For real. When, when DMX started telling the truth about, oh, the Illuminati is the Illuminati. Oh, he's a cracker. He was a cokehead. Bro, yeah. DMX was smoking crack since he was nine years old. That's why he raps like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, not, that's nothing new. He's always been like that. Y'all just trying to destroy their image because they're fighting against the agenda. Exactly. And that's what it is. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, that's crazy. Go but what y'all, what y'all think about the Lakers, man? Again, so oh, funny. We about to get this ring. What you mean? They gon', they gon', they gon' get it. They gon' get to be an easy dub. Who's who? Who we playing? Hey, yeah, hey, we don't play know, either the Miami or the Celtics. Y'all playing the Either way, it's gonna be. Oh no, the Celtics is one. They trying to force the game seven. Yeah, they is. They is. They is, Ross. They got Gordon Hayward back. You know? They 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 were celebrating last night. I never seen LeBron like that in focus mode like that. Nobody nobody standing in the way this shit. Oh, cause bro. it's a rap, bro. Niggas was just nobody standing in the way, nigga. Y'all know what the deal is, man. Shit, that nigga was not celebrating, bro. Hey, the nigga made the Kobe face when Kobe was just serious when they asked him. So, how do you feel about winning the West Championships? He was like, the job's not done. And that nigga had that face, bro. <laughs> hey, so, so, had that face. 
I would be so excited. That's crazy. So how, how many games the finals going to go, y'all think? like Five games. Think? Tops. Five uh, games. Bro, not, not playing, bro. Bro, bro got we got rid of the Clippers. Five. We got rid of the Clippers. That was the only thing we was worried about, nigga. Nigga, y'all did not get rid of the Clippers. The Clippers no, got rid of the Clippers, but nigga, niggas got rid of the Clippers, bro. So that was the only concern. That was the biggest bust, bro, in history, my nigga. Bro, now our road to the championship is just easy now. It's just like five games. You just beat niggas in five Man, games. Man, if the Lakers, if the Lakers don't win this championship, bro, I'm gonna be beyond, beyond. They can get it. Hey, so like, hey, let me let me ask y'all a question. So, if the Lakers don't win this year, what does that do to LeBron's legacy? It, it Man, shatters it in a way. It I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna, I, 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 it's gonna, gonna make me mad, bro. It's gonna make yeah. me mad, bro. It's, it's, <laughs> you need a little bit more. It's, you need some more dog different. in you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have, if you, like, bro, like, even if you yeah. don't have dog, you know the the niggas at least act tough, nigga. At least, at least be bro. the nigga who acting hard, like. Yeah. I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sleep on Jimmy Butler, but but ain't nobody about to beat the Lakers in the finals, though. I, I can't no. see that. They're too stacked. And I feel like the, I feel like the now Lakers with AD going playing off like the strength this? of of Kobe's legacy too. You feel me? Because he just passed yeah. it and everything. It's like yeah. a different type of meaning to them. You know what I'm saying? Like as a For whole sure. team, as a unit. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. So they yeah. all put him in that pain. Yeah, so I hate all, the Lakers. I hate the Lakers so much, but that I want to see LeBron win it. I want LeBron yeah. resume to be way better than Jordan's. <laughs> oh, 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 you got oh, on the Jordan jersey right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you I talking about? That. I didn't realize that. But I, I was LeBron, my favorite player ever. That's, that's, I respect that. That's your favorite player. And I, I, respect, I, feel like, I feel like if LeBron don't win, he's going to come back again next year. He's going to get a ring with the Lakers regardless. He's got to get yeah, he gonna, <laughs> he, he, he he gonna gonna win this year, bro. It's, it's, he's going to win this year, though. He's going to get one this year. He's going to be in the city of LA. He just tricked it off. <laughs> yeah, he got he got to really trick this shit he off. He got to really trick it off, <laughs> but he's not going to do that. Nah, he ain't going to trick it off. Yeah, I can't bro. see it happening, bro. I, I think he's gonna get it, bro. These role players better step up and know they motherfucking role. That's all I need to know. <laughs> They've been, they, they been playing damn good. They just gotta keep it going for real. Danny Green is gonna be playing defense and shooting jumps. Don't try and go <laughs> hey, to the back, my nigga. Hey, no. that ain't so Jay, nobody wanna bad. talk about it, but Rondo is is is, is key. That nigga oh, yeah, no, Rondo is elite right now. He's elite <laughs> right now. He's the third hey, best player hey, on the JB. team. JB, bro, sure. I seen a post. I seen a post. It was like uh Danny Green has been staying uh, an hour after practice just to miss a hundred threes, a hundred more threes. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, he's a shooter. Man. How are you missing? That <laughs> boy, he's a pure shooter too. I don't know what's going on. He's a cool he's nigga, man. Danny Green, cool nigga. Bro, if Danny <laughs> Green was hitting, we would have swept the gang of niggas, bro. We probably would have yeah, swept the I mean, the uh, Rockets, and we would have swept the niggas. <laughs> yeah, because he's been missing like a mug, bro. <laughs> That nigga they said that boy stay an hour after practice just to miss a hundred. <laughs> Who's better know he's rolling? You know what I'm saying? You number, you number four, you number three or four, baby. You ain't number one or two. Yeah, you trying to do too five. much. <laughs> yeah, like, that nigga like not. Five. He's for sure not three. Yeah, he he like like five. nigga Rondo like the third best player on the team, bro. <laughs> bro, Rondo really been hoping, bro. For real, <laughs> he been hoping. For sure. Make that Those shit good. I got any new projects coming out? Shit, I got. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Set, yeah. Settle Down is uh, officially about to release on the uh, 3rd of October. So it's a Saturday. So. Me and JB. Me hey, and what JB about that dog food? Man, hey, I got to get that. I got to have Cal mix that. He got it in the Dropbox, but uh, he got it. <laughs> hey, Cal, you got that. <laughs> hey, Cal, you got that one song that me and that head high? The head, yeah, oh, yeah, I got that too. Yeah, that shit bang too, nigga. Yeah, yeah that shit too. go. Mm -hmm. That shit go. Yeah. What y'all got coming out? What else everybody else got coming out? <clears throat> man, I don't even know right now, man. Right now, I'm just man. stacking up. I got, yeah. I got church music coming out. Finna drop a tape. We winding up to drop a tape. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I got Judy's coming out soon, too. Video for the video, coming video. out. Video? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. The black just that the fine just hey, Yo, Ross, black just hey, hey, Ross, my nigga, why, why when I ask you when, when we dropping Hellcats, this nigga gonna say in twenty days? 
Cause Cal told me thirty last week. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> this nigga didn't say three weeks. This nigga didn't yeah, say Cal two told weeks. Me, he told me like thirty days, and I was like, that was last week. So I just took ten off. It was like twenty. <laughs> Hey, 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 my nigga, since last week it's only been seven days, so it's 23 days. No, I just rounded that shit up. You mean rounded it down? Yeah, round it down, yeah. Oh, man. I was like, what the fuck, nigga? So I got to count 20 days on my calendar? Nah, just just know, like, in a a month or something. Less than a month. Nah, you good. The reason why I was asking because I'm gonna drop a track in a video. I'm gonna try to drop one every three to four weeks. So if you dropping one, that'll just substitute for me. Well, but I just want consistent content. That's it. Oh yeah. Hey, that, 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 that Hellcat, that Hellcat video looked like it's gonna be hard though. Oh yeah, still- yeah bro. Oh. Yeah. That's oh, it. Yeah. Hey, you got any shows coming up? Uh, you what? Yeah, actually. Uh, like this week, I got some DJ games coming up. <laughs> Halloween weekend gonna be like that. It's mm-hmm. crazy, but um, yeah, Halloween weekend's gonna be popping. Uh, I got all my mixes right now in my SoundCloud and then my uh, on my website. So go follow me on all platforms at Mateo's. Yeah, go download them. They're free downloads. Yeah. Hey, what's Hope up? Hey, what's up with them shows though? We need to start performing again. I start throwing events. We need to start doing some. We do. I mean. Times are taken. If y'all want to do it, I'm down like a small venue. Like we need yeah. to start even even if we don't perform, like we need to start like do a pop up shop where we have all our merch. We have we giving out shit and we just we cooking our something. I don't, we need to do something, bro. Yeah, before it starts getting cold, bro. Yeah, hey, we can talk about it. Because when it was cold hey. last year, niggas was doing something. So they ain't gonna <laughs> talk about this. After we just we just need, we just need <laughs> yeah. to build momentum, my nigga. We just gotta have a meeting on the podcast, dog. We got a meeting on the damn video. Yeah, yeah. Let's not have this. Hey, people, you know, people watch this, man. They they be trying to pick apart our brains. Hey, Cal, you just cut at a certain point. Just cut this part out. Cut at a certain point. Okay. Hey, cut this. Hey, but we, but this is a conversation we need to have, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, let's cut it out of the podcast or let's hang up and call each other back. But niggas need to figure yeah. out, like, yeah, nah, let's stay on this. I'm keeping it in because it's funny. 